Hey, what's up? I'm Big Loqua, and I really like making historic brawl decks, so here's another one. This one is Grandmaster of Flowers. Grandmaster of Flowers is a four-drop mono-white legendary planeswalker commander. They read, as long as Grandmaster of Flowers has seven or more loyalty counters on him, he's a 7-7 seven, seven dragon god creature with flying and indestructible. Uh, plus one, target creature without first strike, double strike, or vigilance can't attack or block until your next turn. Plus one, search your library and or graveyard for a card named Monk of the Open Hand, reveal it, and put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle. I think planeswalkers as commanders are goofy. Uh, I think it's really silly, but I'm, we're gonna have a really good time. I wanted to go kind of control with this, just like enough life gain to stay above the water, you know, against like maybe like the green red decks that you run into in the format. And I wanted to have enough kind of catches for the popular combo decks in the format. Like Containment Priest is really cool if we run into Cranko and we can manage to get this out. Heliod will help you stabilize if you have any lifelink on the board or if you have any kind of creatures that can swing and get big. Uh, Banishing Light, you know, those kind of effects, you know, Touch of the Spirit Realm, etc. We run a bunch of board wipes and Approach of the Second Sun. Vanquish the Horde is really great. Fumigate's great. Uh, and these are all even better because our goal is to get an indestructible creature that's going to be banging every turn. Um, we can buff that indestructible creature with the other planeswalkers we have in the deck like Elspeth she puts crazy uh, counters on the dudes same thing with Basari Ket and uh and Gideon Blackblade can help us you know get there with lifelink and trigger things like Johnny's pride mate and um Griffin Airy uh, to kind of help us get there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the deck. This one's edited a bit differently. We show, I show kind of, I skip through a few games and kind of show some really funny losses uh, that we get with the deck. And then we show some like, you know, more complete games towards the end there. Um, but if you like that kind of, if you don't like that kind of style, please let me know. There'll be a sec, there'll be a part two video out um, shortly after this one's uploaded because there was like a 40 minute game I got into with a Kaikar player. Uh, and it was just really entertaining. There were some really funny things going on in that game. And uh, I don't know, if, if you like magic, you'll like it uh so yeah I'll, I'll upload that and um let's get into it all right let's see planes past turn a faith found judge we got a gideon planeswalker we got sigrid those are all solid three drops uh monk of the open hand cool i will play this guy planes I mean, Gideon. Swing. Macaroni. Next message. Midnight clock trigger. Minimus containment. Okay. Volo. Whenever you cast a creature spell that doesn't share a creature type with the creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, copy that spell. A few moments later. All right, later, dude. Later, dude. Up a Zelda tree. Cranko mob boss. What's up, baby? Mirror shield, borrowed time, citizens rest, and settle the wreckage. This is just like a control hand. This is kind of cool. I suck. We don't have any creatures. Oh, look at that. That's those are cute. That's a cute sleeve. Franco, not cute. I think we lose this one. Check it out. Check it out. We're screwed. That, it's, everybody's swinging at, swinging at the, the commander. That's so good. Ah, oh, we're so fucked. Wow, dude, look at all these goblin triggers. Oh my god, Mux, it's gonna be so large, dude. 24, 24, dude. Okay. <laughs> Later, GG. <laughs> Maybe you need to go more enchantment focused. Ditch like the kind of like pseudo life gain we've got going. Or just go full life gain. Uh, I, if we go full enchantment, I think that might be better because we could protect Grandmaster Flowers more. Maybe? I don't know. Oh man, we're so screwed. 
old gnaw bone and you get another one another create one. that many treasure tokens when you deal damage oh my gosh ambitious dragonborn exegrace prey you get seven it just comes to seven seven oh my god I need more board wipes in this deck. I need like a million board wipes in this deck. I'm taking six. Jeez Louise. Oh my God. Look at all. They got 12 treasure tokens. I think it's back to the drawing board with this guy. Let's try this again. Just make the game more difficult for them. That old school art. Okay, let's let's try this. Let's try this out. All right. Got giant killer dowsing dagger and here he's binding the wandering emperor. I don't like that hand. Let's try again. Heliod, Solemnity. Uh, players can't get camp. That's kind of counterproductive there, but uh, if we need to pull this out, we can. Feldar Retreat is very cool. Restoration of uh, Iganjo is very good as well. I think we can keep this. We just hold the Solemnity unless for if they're going to do weird shit, they're not. So that's fine. Swords of Plowshares. Cool. We can play the Mox Amber. Don't really matter. We go get the Monk. Search the library. Go get... Wait, where is the Monk? <gasps> Guys, we did it again. We put the monk. We didn't put the monk in the deck. Oh my god. Gain 10 million life. Put the counters on this one. And this one. And this one. Get the blood token. Do it. And then I'm going to make an angel, bro. Enter. We finally fucking won a game. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't have the open the open palm monk, monk in the deck either which is really funny i want i think the goal is to get this dude to activate though oh cool we have two board wipes solemn and transmogrifying wand i think we can mulligan this one we got monk nyx fleece ram solemnity again divine visitation uh vanquish the horde this is a weird one but let's keep it let's get the monk out Pass the turn. I don't care about your dumb dragon. Drew farewell. Sick. At least we're gaining life. Oh, it's the Cody deck? Don't want to play Solemnity. I'm going to swing with both for posterity. Pass the turn. Three. Bop, 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 bop. Play the planes. Get the Grandmaster out. Uh, plus one. Search. I just want to make this into a Dragon God one time. It'd be so cool. Cody, Vociferous Codex. Cards from the top of your library when you cast your next spell this turn. Things on sorcery with lesser mana value than you can cast it. So you, it's like weird cascade. It's like real goofy cascade that you set up. But now we now there is seven seven with 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 indestructible. So I can do this. I, I can vanquish the horde. Scorched Earth, motherfucker. Grandmaster is still up. And I get to bang for seven this turn? Oh, they whiffed. They got nothing. We did. We were doing it. We're doing it. We turned Grandmaster Flowers on into a seven-seven indestructible dragon. All it took was playing against the Cody deck. Oh, conjure, conjure a duplicate of each to up to six target non-token permanents in your hand. You may spend mana as well. Mana up, 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 up. What do you get? You get all of this. How are you gonna stop me from swinging and killing your ass? Damn, I think we're I think we're done. Damn it. It's pay time, baby! Woo! This guy's really hard. This one's pretty tough. Ugh. That fucking dragon. They're at four health! Yeah, okay, GG. <laughs> that was fun. Monk of the Open Hand, Pacifism, Angel of the Eternal Dawn, Gideon Black Blade, Res Okay, okay. Well. Yeah. Against Gishath. Gross. Planes. Don't like that. Boop. Monk. We've got passivism in the hand, which is kind of cool. We've got Gideon. We've got the three land in hand. That's nice. Into the north. 
We get a Snowland card. Core Spirit Dancer. We can draw a card off of that. Pacifism, probably. Our other play... Yeah, that's our play. Swing for one. Roiling Regrowth. Get your land. Get your... Another Temple of Triumph. Oh, no. The Temple of Tri Triumph. They had the Temple of Abandon before. Got the Cartucci. Throw that on the Core Spirit Dancer. That's actually really good. Um, I don't want to do this, but let's get some card draw. Draw a card. We got Rule of Law, which is kind of cool. Get a dude. Slap. And turn. Add so can seer. Nice. Garrick's uprising. Gross. I think we play this. Next turn we passivism on that, draw a card. Thrashing Brontodon. Three four and a three two. Cool. We can play pacifism on the three four. I can also pacify the big boy, you're right. Let's draw a card. Got Hollowed Haunting. We have one mana. 3-2. Bob, they can group block. That'd be really funny. We can swing with this. They don't have any reach. Let's try and get in. They're at 15. You're right. I probably should have waited to pacify the, the big, big, the big, big boy. Yeah, you're, you're true, true, true. Like this one could, you could sack this one and get off the big boy. So uh, might as well put it on this guy to make him just sack. But, but like, you're not, you're totally not wrong. Swing. Okay, cool. I think so. So this angel makes them wait until turn eight to play their dude. So I think we still have like another turn or so. So we need to get this out to get another land because we're fucking dying here. With only three mana. I mean, we're doing okay, but like, we really need that other planes. We can get the Esper Sentinel out this turn, then play the Hollowed Haunting, I think. Uh, and then that's probably where we'll commit with the Solemnity and the Rule of Law. Um, cool, Monk of the Open Hand gets a plus one plus one counter. That's tight. Um, and then we can swing through with these two again. Uh, sack to destroy the Pacifism. Oh! Macaroni? With the chicken oh, shirt. nice. That's actually really good. Nice, nice, nice. I get it. That was a good move. They're going to block there. Lose the dino. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight. Destroy target land. Start of extinction deals 20 damage to each creature and planeswalker. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking cool. As if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. <laughs> you may discard a card if you do return target permanent card with mana value two or less from the graveyard of the battlefield. Yo, so I just go get... Yeah. Let's, let's go get Ezra Sentinel. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> um... <laughs> And then we can get the, the monk back with the planeswalker. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> the deck is doing things. Kinda. Before we get stomped by this dinosaur, he's gonna play this turn, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Trapjaw Tyrant. When it's dealt damage, exile target creature and put. Oh, he's the Oblivion Ring one. He just eats them. Trapjaw. That's so cool. Okay. Hollowed Haunting. Oh, that one's cool. I think we do Monk of the Open Hand and Solemnity. Rule of Law. Let's do Rule of Law. 
I mean, it's counterproductive with a monk of the open hand, but what do you gonna do? You can't attack. No attacks. I kind of was, I should have swung with Esper Sentinel to pressure the Elvish Mystic, getting them down to 10. But I mean, because they can play their commander now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, here he comes. Ugh. Oh no. Oh no. They're gonna dump their freaking top of their library. They're gonna deal seven damage to me. They got trample. They're gonna swing at the. Yeah, they're swinging. Uh, so I could reduce that by three, four, five, three, four, five, six. Oh, I can kill him. Wait, what are you do? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? What are you doing? <laughs> and I get a <it>, dude. <laughs> what? And I drew the Wrath of God. Hell yeah. That's sick. I got the Wrath of God. Let's play Hollowed Haunting. We should we should have played Hollow Haunting first. We'd get a dude from the Rule of Law. But that's pretty sick. We'll we'll keep Trap Jaw Tyrant locked down and hit him with the 1-1. One, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They need one more. Ot Otapek Huntmaster. Trample. Dinosaur spells you cast cost one less to cast. Target dinosaur gains haste. Oh, baby. Oh, baby boy. Um. So. I think. Wrath of God? I think I think I think we wait to Wrath of God until that guy comes out. Uh Kitty Okay, there's seven seven now. So we got there. Again. Solemnity. Players can't get counters. So that would keep him at seven counters. He's not going to go above a 7-7, seven, seven, so I think that's fine if we play Gideon or the Goshentai. Goshentai would work better with a Divine Visitation setup if we draw another land next turn, but I think right now we need to play Gideon Blackblade. Sorry, I had to go through those paths in my head because I'm a big Dorcas. Um, let's put Life Link on... Well, let's put Vigilance on this dude and just have him bang. Attack. That one's still locked down to my next turn, so I think we're okay. Um, they've got to have like a board wipe if they cast this dude. Like, I'm still going to kill him. Next. Like, I don't think he can deal 20. I don't think they, they can deal 23 damage to me this turn with uh, Gishath. So I'm just not going to block. This guy can't attack. They draw the card from the Garrick Uprising. They don't have any mana. They've got one. That's it. They've got one mana. They're going to swing with Sun's Avatar. I'm going to block here because I'm indestructible. Like, what are you doing? Uh, like... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Are you, are you okay? Like, that's indestructible, that's indestructible. Okay. We got there with the guy as a 7-7 indestructible dragon god. What the frig? We did it. We finally did it. I can't believe that. That's really fun. Wow. Wow. So that's Grandmaster Flowers. Um, turns out having a 7-7 seven, seven flying indestructible guy is pretty good sometimes. Uh, and I think if I wanted to keep working on this deck, I think I might put in even more uh, Oblivion Ring effects and, and the like. Uh, because, gosh, getting your stuff stolen sucks. But yeah, those are some really fun games. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button down below. And I guess the bell if you want to know when the videos come out. Uh, if you like the video, uh, hit the like button, I guess. And if you want to leave a comment, please tell me your favorite artifact from Onslaught. That's, I just want to know. Okay, bye.